city of Dallas announced it will now use a proactive approach when it comes to preparing for snow and ice. The city used to treat streets after they iced over, but according to a new memo, the city will now treat streets with a brine mixture when a snow or ice event is in the forecast. Fox 4's Lori Brown has the story. In February last year, Dallas's reactive response to the winter storm became woefully inadequate. Ice-covered roads forced DART to make the unprecedented decision to shut down bus service for 48 hours. I did get many calls from different corporations, different companies, that they, their employees could not get to work. In March 2022, DART CEO Nadine Lee defended her decision to city council members. DART had 93 buses stuck. DART has never experienced this magnitude of buses stuck within a three hour time frame as a result of changing weather conditions. Now the city admits Dallas needs to do more before ice and snow fall rather than working to treat roads after they ice over. What we're doing differently um, and city council uh, actually approved the purchase of, of brine uh, material earlier this year. We've never done that before, um, given you know the ice events we've had in the last few years. We want to do something proactive uh, versus just the reactive sanding. The memo from Robert Perez says the city's new anti-icy mixture is a brine solution and the city will prioritize treatments for bridges, overpasses, inclines and intersections, dark bus routes and other areas critical to public safety such as hospitals and fire stations. And the city will only treat residential streets needed for emergency access for Dallas police and fire. The treatments will not apply to rail service but will still hopefully avoid a repeat of the 2022 bus service shutdown that left passengers stranded. I'm trying to get out to the VA and I just spent a dollar fifty for a ticket that's no good to me. In Dallas, Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.